Um, okay, a what is an A&R man? Um, you know, obviously it stands for artist and repertoire. And, um, you know, I think there's, uh, there's different meanings to it. You know, I say that, uh, you know, I aspire to be John Hammond and not Guy Oseri. You know, it's kind of like, you know, I think an A&R man in its truest form is somebody that, you know, uh, has an ear that can discover talent and discover something special and unique. But then once, you know, that's the talent scout part of it. But then once charged with a task, either your own or, or somebody else's, to work with an artist, then how do you make the artist achieve their fullest potential? You know, it's kind of like, you know, to me, it, it, I love, um, I'm really into, or was until the iPod, really into hi-fi. And I love the recreation of the live experience. You know, it's like to me, when, you know, the most exciting thing is, you know, an audience and an artist and the, the ability they have to connect. You know, when you make a recording, that kind of gets lost a little bit. And, and what I try to do with artists that I work with is to try and make that gulf as small as possible. You know, it's like they have a message that they want to communicate. And if the audience only understands French, then that's the, that's the language they need to speak in. And that's, that's what I try to help them do. Well, remember, it, it, right, you're right. Um, there's a bit of a difference. I mean, I think there's a, a pullback to the independent world, and that's why I'm in it. And, um, but when you're in a major label, it is very important for the, the A&R guy to be the conduit to the rest of the company. And I think many A&R guys fall short in that because, you know, they'll make the record and then they don't have the ability to, you know, to, to carry it forward. I mean, basically what, what you need to do is if, if your act that you're working on is one out of ten, you need to get them 20% of the attention. And so that, you know, there's different, you know, if somebody needs to be, you know, you use honey or, or, or a SWAT, depending on, on what's necessary in each situation, you have to be able to discern what the right thing to do is.